We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies. In this clip, I'll cover comic book creator Stan Lee. Stan Lee was the creative mind behind Marvel Comics. And he was the editor-in-chief from 1945. Most, if not all, of the Marvel movies that have been released in recent years including uh, Thor Love and Thunder which came out this weekend in 2022 Stan Lee was the major uh, creative force behind these characters and stories he also created Spider-Man, X-Men, Iron Man The Incredible Hulk, Ant-Man and the Wasp The Fantastic Four Doctor Strange, Daredevil, Scarlet Witch, and Black Widow. And interestingly, Stan Lee, he made cameo appearances in most of the Marvel films. But he had a cameo in 1989 in Charlie the Incredible Hulk, right through to X-Men uh, 2000, and then uh, the newer Marvel movies. He had a cameo in almost every one of those. Alright, so I took a look at Stan Lee, Marvel Comics. And he was somewhat difficult for me to try and guess uh, the actors uh, from a film uh, that he may resemble. But I have found a couple, and I will share these. I think that Stan Lee, he may resemble actors Robert Duvall and Cynthia Stevenson. So, a film in which these two actors appeared together, this would be Home for the Holidays, 1995. And uh, please note, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is a member of this cast. Iron Man, Tony Stark. This was directed by Jodie Foster. According to the Virginian pilot issue from Saturday, November 4th, 1995, actor Charles Durning who plays uh, the family father in this movie, Henry Larson. This was originally to be played by actor Robert Duvall. Robert Duvall, unfortunately, had a conflicting schedule and was not able to act in this film. This also has Holly Hunter, Charles Durning, Steve Gutenberg, Claire Danes, Dylan McDermott, Dana Carvey. So yeah, the connection between Stan Lee uh, and these actors obviously is uh, Robert Downey Jr. All right, so an alternative guess as to actors who may resemble comic book creator Stan Lee. And I thought that he may look like John Carradine and Robert Vaughn. And I found this film, it's Buried Alive, 1989. And uh, please be sure that you uh, fine-tune your search when looking this up. Because there was a 1990 movie made. This is not uh, the correct version of Buried Alive uh, for this uh, reference that I'm making. Several actors that I searched when trying to find uh, resemblances for Stan Lee, this led to links in the DC comic book universe. So in Buried Alive, uh, note the presence of Arnold Vosloo. And... Um, I think he was in uh, Still Dawn with Patrick Swayze as well. To me, this actor, he may resemble Michael Keaton, who was Batman in 1989. Robert Vaughn uh, was in Superman 3 in 1983 with Richard Pryor. Right, I'll give one more example as to actors who may resemble Stan Lee. So here's another uh DC connection for Marvel comic books creator Stan Lee. So this would be Supergirl, the new uh, television series. So out of this, I think Stan Lee may resemble Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, actor Bruce Boxleitner, uh, who was in Tron in 1982. And through Boxleitner and Babylon 5, you got a link to Michael Drzinski, who wrote for uh, the Ghostbusters cartoon and there is a connection um, to the current crop of Marvel movies that you can see in uh, the 1980s 
real Ghostbusters cartoon series. I did a video on an episode, it's called Ragnarok and Roll. And so there, obviously, you have your Thor reference. And uh, this same episode, I'm going have a reference to uh, Elvis Presley as well. So the new Elvis movie just came out a couple weekends ago. This weekend, Thor Love and Thunder is out. Straczynski wrote for Babylon 5. Uh, he wrote uh, Thor the movie as well. And also Chris Hemsworth was in um, Ghostbusters 3. These cast members, they would have appeared together in Supergirl around 2018. So very recently. And, and yeah, Stanley, he may also resemble a Melissa Benoist, uh, who is Supergirl. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. Analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anagrams, idioms, anecdotes, hidden in the work in question. Also use unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors and what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities who may resemble the personalities in the movie that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G U Y, at yahoo.com. Yes, I do accept uh, Bitcoin donations. Uh, any contribution is greatly appreciated, and uh, thanks for your help. Thanks for watching.